So what this does is keep your tools organized in one spot. You always know where your tools are. You don't have to go hunting for them. They're always in the same place. It also keeps them from getting damaged, which is really important to you. Here's another really neat little item, a triangular file, small triangular file. I use this for keeping my hook sharp when I'm tying. Now, I don't, tie, I don't sharpen every fly I tie because I stick enough of them things in my thumb without them being real sharp. I let the fishermen sharpen them, but for my own personal flies, I sharpen them with this. And while we're talking about that, let's turn this upside down. And let me show you the correct way to sharpen a hook, okay? Most people are going to sharpen it like this on the inside. And that's the absolute wrong way to do it. Because what you're doing here, let me turn this hook back over. Show you the wrong way again so you can see it better. But they'll sharpen in here like this, okay? Yeah, it sharpens the hook, no problem. What you're doing is right here on the inside of this bend, Take that thread off of there. On the inside of this bend, you're putting a really nice sharp knife edge right here. And all the pressure when you're fighting a fish is inside the bend of this hook. So as you're fighting the fish and he's turning in circles, that, that thing is twisting and turning, cutting a hell of a knife hole in the fish's mouth. So in order to avoid that, we just simply turn the hook over. And we just take a couple of strokes on each side. And then one downward stroke like that, and you've got a super sharp hook. Now the knife edge is up here, or actually down here. There's no real pressure down here like there is here. This is pulling against that edge. Here it's not. And you're not going to, you might cut a little hole, but nothing like you would with it inside here. So you're better off sharpening your hooks on the bottom of the hook than on the top. Okay? But that file comes in real handy for that. Another thing it comes in handy for, sometimes you'll be tying a fly and you get too much epoxy around the eye of the hook right in here right in this version right here and so you just take that point of that file and run it through there a couple of times now when you put your weed guard on there you've got a place for your thread and so it's not going to keep squirting off the head of the